hi and welcome to my channel on cloud chi with gochi ame today we are finally filming the long-awaited video answering your most recent questions about our pomeranian leo say hi leo <laughs> yes you're a good boy huh everyone's asking about you you're so popular you're so cute and you're such a good boy huh Let's get started. I'm going to go into my YouTube videos and pull up your questions. The first question is from Abby Shepard. How big is he? How much does he weigh? From our last vet visit, I believe Leo is almost four pounds. He's between three to four pounds. The next question is from Neo Flores. Hi, Leo. Any idea? Would like to know how to remove tear stains. Cheers, thanks, and more power. To help remove Leo's tear stains, we do use the INV products. It's basically a two-step process. It comes with an INV fluid product where it's liquid form. You pour a few drops of the liquid product onto a cotton pad and then you wipe out the red tear stains. Then there's a little powder that you use to help dry up the area so that if tear stains come out of their eyes, it goes into the powder more so than going onto their fur. So that kind of helps maintain his eyes. We have seen results when we do keep up with it. Consistency is key. The next question is from Claire1090. Do you put clothes on Leo? How old is he? I would love if you used my comment. Hi Claire, I'm using your comment and your question. Yes, I do put clothes on Leo for occasions like Halloween costumes, PJs, and Leo is currently two years old. He turned two on May 25th. Next question is from Claudie Cat. Could you make a video one day in a life of Leo? Thank you for the suggestion. That actually sounds like a fun idea. I think I will try to do a video. I have an idea of how I want to do it to show you the perspective of Leo when he's like running around. So we'll see. This question is from Droken, I think it's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butcher any of your names. Hey, Leo is really awesome and so playful and nice. We are thinking about a palm for a while now and we're wondering if you have any tips on how to make sure we get a teddy bear face palm like yours and not a fox face. How do we know he will become nice and fluffy like Leo and teddy bear like when the palm is still a baby around one to two months old? Is there any way to make sure? Thanks. Thank you for your question. First, I want to point out that all Pomeranians are adorable regardless of their face shape and size. However, I know a lot of people have preferences. Therefore, it is important to know where your Pomeranian is coming from if that is something that's significant to you. For Leo's case, we knew what his parents looked like. So we pretty much had a good idea of what Leo was going to look like. His parents were pretty fluffy. They were pretty small and had a teddy bear face. Therefore, Leo is going to get all those genetics from his parents. Otherwise, there's no guaranteeing what your puppy will look like. Also, even if you know what the fur parents look like, sometimes they get a mix of genetics from both parents, some from the mom, some from the dad, so they may not even look exactly like both parents. It may look like one or the other. Good luck with searching for your palm, and regardless of how your palm turns out to look like, I know it's going to be a cute fur baby. Next question is from Yeneth Hernan. Hello, I have some questions. Where does Leo do his bathroom needs? Does he go outside or inside? And how does he tell you to go to the bathroom? And at what age did he start barking? Okay, so there's a couple parts to this question. Leo is an indoor dog, so he loves being inside. He does use the restroom on his pee pad tray. This is Leo's pee pad. Yeah, Leo, you're getting a tour of your pee pad, huh? So this is Leo's pee pad and he just peed <laughs> as you can see but yeah you can remove the cover and put a pee pad down and then close the cover we take this with us everywhere we go if we're traveling to a hotel someone's house um that's where he goes potty he knows to go and then we actually leave this playpen open this playpen extends so we can make this larger for him to run around we have it the size for now because we just leave his playpen open at all times and he can roam our place this is where we also feed him when I can't watch him, like if I'm cooking and I can't keep an eye on him, I'll just put him in here and close the little playpen. Leo. <laughs> you know it's your safe space, right? Good job. Yeah. He stays in his playpen and plays with some toys that we throw in here. Leo is not much of a barker. As you can see, I'm filming this and he's actually out there with my husband. I don't know around exactly what age we started noticing that he barked, but things that do make Leo bark is if he hears a knock at the door just because he knows it's going to be a guest or a friendly person coming in so that he could play with them. He loves meeting new people. This next question is from Sabangan Ken. What food or 
reward you give Leo. Leo loves a variety of treats. His favorites are bananas, anything with peanut butter. He has his dog treats as well. This is one of his favorite treats. He loves the Simply Nourish freeze-dried chicken. He also loved these neutral crunchy treats made with peanut butter. He also loves the Old Mother Hubbard peanut butter oven baked biscuits. Leo, are you crying because you want some? I'll give you one. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. The next question is from Catalina Suarez. Hi, I just got a Pomeranian and was wondering if you did crate training. Yes, we did do crate training with Leo. I thought it was super helpful to train Leo with crate training because it helped him to learn how to potty. It taught him where his safe space could be. It helps him to sleep. So there are a lot of benefits to crate training. The next question is from Audra Weber. This question is similar to what I just previously answered to. Audra's question is, what kind of training treats did you use for Leo in the very beginning? In the very beginning, when Leo was just a cute little puppy, we used pieces of boiled chicken. We bought some chicken breast from the store, ripped into shreds or little pieces, and he loves chicken. Next question is from Bisugampa Chintugud. Sorry again if I'm messing up on your name. The question is, my puppy is biting any solution? And my response is, Puppies usually go through a teething stage, say no, and then give them the toy that they can chew on. This question is from Elizabeth Reveal. Did you ever have a problem with Leo lunging at other dogs or people when you walk him? When we take Leo out for walks, he actually does not have any interest in the other dogs that are walking past us. It's the other dogs we worry about that have more of an interest. Leo doesn't care. Like we'll have dogs barking from their house or walking by and barking and coming towards Leo. Leo's just still looking straight ahead and walking, <laughs> doing his thing. Luckily, we don't have any issues with Leo lunging at other dogs at this time. Not that we've experienced. Appleseed asks, can you link the backpack? Thank you. Yes, I will link the backpack and here's a little clip of the backpack. This is the backpack that a lot of you ask about. We got it from Amazon and Leo, you like this backpack, don't you? Backpack, good boy. He knows to go in it. Come on, Leo. Come on, let's go. Good boy. It is so useful when we do traveling, hiking, visiting family, friends. The backpack comes in handy. If you've seen our first video where we brought Leo home, that's how long we've had the backpack. And we're still using it and now Leo's two years old. This backpack has been amazing for Leo and hopefully you'll find it useful for your pet as well. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching this video. If you think of more questions for us, feel free to share them in the comment section of this video and we'll do our best to answer them in our next Q&A. Leo, we did it. High five. Yes, good boy. <laughs>